And y'all look at this right here. There's an alligator out here in this pond. I'm gonna walk right over here. Hopefully y'all can see him. He's pretty decent size too. He's swimming right there. He's probably, he's probably five, maybe six feet. We'll stand up on this. Yeah, there he is. I saw him out here the other day when I came and looked at this job. Or if he was still gonna be in here or not. The client said there's a really big one out here around this area too. They say he's like, I mean, he's huge. They actually have a name for him. They call him Big Head. Um, so hopefully you don't run into him, but there's a little one in this pond right here. I... All right, so this is today's little project. There's actually two projects out here we're doing today. We're doing this little bit, and then there's another lot right over there that we're doing as well. So what we're doing here is we're just thinning some of this stuff out right here. Uh, some of this wax myrtle, this little shrubs and stuff we're going to take down this little pine wax myrtle originally the owner wanted to leave this tree but then he told me today that they wanted it gone so it's going i think this might be one of those pear trees uh those are tallow trees it might be one of these one of those tallow trees i'm not sure the leaves kind of look like it but it's going all this stuff is going here as far as this little stuff this little brush uh, up into that line right there so that's one line property line and then the other one was right over in there so that little pine is going to go there and so everything back in there uh, is a marsh so we're not going any further past that so just what we can get uh bought right here so that's what we're going to do so i got the machine and with the got the monster out here today and we're gonna get this stuff cut down and like i said we got a little bit over there to do so nothing to it now but to get started let's see how it goes
Okay, so had to couple had to cut a couple trees. That big wax mural that was down in there, uh, actually was right there uh, by hand, and a couple of these little pines that were tucked in next to the bigger pines. Got a pile there. Most of that is the wax mural. Good gosh, it was another one over there, um, and a couple of little things, a little pine I took down right there. And uh, we're just gonna mulch these piles down, and I'll rake this up out of the grass a little bit, and this will be done. That turned out looking pretty doggone good right there i will say that looks good a little bit of hand work getting her some of this stuff around these trees this would have been honestly in my mind a perfect job for a mini excavator with a mulcher head on it for this particular job uh, getting in in between some of these bigger mature trees to get uh those wax myrtles and stuff i think the biggest thing i cut in here was that wax myrtle about six inches six seven inches 
Um, that would have worked perfect in here. Uh, having a drum head with, with, with mulcher teeth on it, been perfect on a mini excavator, been perfect. So, but the other machine worked just fine, just a little more hand work, but uh, looks good. I did not cut these trees, I'm pretty sure these are Chinese tallows, I'm not sure, but they didn't want me cutting anything past the property line. And that's the property line, and that is I don't know if that's wetland or marsh who owns that, you know, the environmental people get a little. Eh, so I don't want to take any chances on cutting any of this stuff past this proper line But if they say it's okay and they want me to come back I'd come back and just knock all that down with the chainsaw and cut it up and throw it in the back of the truck and go burn it or something It's that's not a big deal. So um, Other than that looks good Everything got out of here pretty good. I think that was probably the biggest tree. I took out right there was Pine that pine or maybe the one over there. I don't remember exactly where it was, but everything else in here looks good I raked all this up through here got all the mulch back into the the edge here and everything looks good so i'm gonna grab the saw and the rakes and the other gopro and we're gonna go around the other side of this pond and we'll check this next job okay so here's the second job of the day we've got to take out let's see so that flag right there is the property line and that flag is the property line so we've got i think it was it was this pile this pile of stuff live oaks it's one two this stuff here looks like another tallow and some pines uh, water oak three and four this big thing so it's just a conglomeration of oaks little, little live oaks and tallows and whatever else is in there so that's what we got to get that's the job that is a tall bunch of stuff in there so let's see what we can do
right, well, this job is D-O-N-E done. Man, that was a bunch of live oaks. Bunch of them. Um, let's see, a couple things. Big trees in here, there were some big trees in here. This was a live oak that had been cut and you could see it was like, I'm not ready to die. And it started growing again and made a whole nother tree right here. And then I guess all its offspring took over around it as well. So, yeah, we got all that cut down. There's a big, another big oak right there and then some big ponds back there. So I went around with the rake and just kind of raked everything up and uh, got it kind of just in a big kind of round area here, got it off the, the main part of the grass. A couple things that I noticed. I noticed that the uh, that head, the XC8T, aka the monster is what I'm calling it. It the head speed on it is is quite a bit slower than the other one. And that works actually really good in situations like this because it actually doesn't throw stuff that bad because there's not enough or there's not as much you know blade speed underneath there for it to hit something and send it, you know, out past the, you know, the green monster at Fenway, you know. So it's it kind of keeps everything for the most part where you're cutting it it will throw a little bit but it's not as bad as the other one but that being said this stringy vegetation which is like these live oaks right here it struggles with this stuff with this stuff because it's so stringy i mean look at that it's just really hard stringy wood with these live oaks it just doesn't you need speed you don't need torque and power you need head speed to cut this stuff like a lawnmower same kind of issue with a lawnmower otherwise it just kind of just flares out or, or like you can see like this is a good example here on the end it just kind of does that and you need something and it'll just as you go over it the blades will just it'll just lay over like that so you need something that's got more head speed to cut through it and go through it very quickly now the mulch would have been about the same those the rotary cutters don't get you very good mulch with the live oaks and some of the other hardwoods pines i can get really good mulch with pines because the wood is very soft and brittle and it just you hit it and it just shatters and that thing will go through a 10 inch pine like it's nothing but a four or five inch live oak and it's like it just the thing's just all over the place and it just doesn't have enough head speed to cut it even the other one as fast as it spins up can struggle with these live oaks a bit the mulch would have been the mulch quality would have been about the same but the other one would have gone through this a little quicker it definitely would have been a little more efficient but i would have been here for hours cleaning up stuff all over the place i mean i was trying to keep everything kind of pointed that way but still the way that thing turns it tends to shoot things out like if you're going this way it'll it actually goes clockwise it tends to throw stuff and then go out like to your right you know like out that way so i'd be over there where that live oak is probably picking stuff up this one didn't do it that bad i mean i just kind of had to rake out to about right here and around there and that was it you know no big deal so both of them have their pros and cons i mean i'm really glad i brought that one even though it took me a little longer to get all this stuff with these live oaks cut down and and dealt with but uh the other one would have had stuff throwing stuff everywhere so anyway this is a really beautiful little place here I, I man if i could build a house like right here and just look over that inlet over there oh my gosh that would be amazing but i'm not rich i work for a living <laughs> oh goodness uh i'm just a guy out here cutting brush and digging holes trying to enjoy myself while i'm doing it let's walk over here see what this looks like over here look at the size of these live oaks too good night you know these things have sat here on the edge of this this inlet here and they have seen some stuff son of a gun's probably saw the pilgrims come through 300 years ago or whenever it was i mean look at the size of them this is such a cool place down here 
with this inlet. So cool. Got a nice little dock out here. Golly, if I could just have like, get rid of this whole cul-de-sac, build this up and just have a house like right here. I know I'd probably pay as much for the mortgage as I would for the hurricane insurance, but still. And it's just been a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh, beautiful day. I mean, these live oaks have been here for ages, son. Ages. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. I hope I get to come back down here and do some more work. The client came, he was happy with everything too. And uh, we're good to go. As a matter of fact, the client was the same that I was doing this for, was the same person I did the job, the grading job over there at the mobile home park where the ground was all pumping and stuff. And he told me today that uh, they did have uh, some sewage, they had two issues over there. They looks like they had probably a sewage issue one because there was a pumping station there. And then they also had one of the trailers behind it, uh, behind that lot had a water leak and that's where all the water in that lot was coming from, most of it. So I knew something was going on there. Didn't know what, but I knew something. All right guys, well I'm gonna get this thing loaded up and uh, I'm gonna go actually gonna go drop this thing off at the farm job because we're gonna be doing some brush cutting over there either later this week or early next week. We got some more stuff over there to do. So where we did all that, di all the ditches and stuff. So let's get out of here. I will check you guys later.